number three of the Packers. You see the Texas Longhorn offense coming off the field. 25, Johnny Ham Jones, 20-year-old Campbell going right by there. One minute, 42 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Oklahoma will be going against the wind of the fourth quarter. Texas will have the advantage of the wind in the final 15 minutes. Well, Zerksley would like to have it now. Out of his own end zone. No rush by the Sooners. Zerksley. Not a good kick at all. Not at all. Bounces 35, and it takes a Texas roll at the 40. Picked up at the 48-yard line. But he nicks it down back to the 49. Almost a football, but I believe they rolled it there. It is there. At the Oklahoma 48-yard line, he ruled him down there. And Russell Zerksley did not have one of his best putts, but it worked out very well for Texas. It was a lucky. It was uh, not a good punt, but a lucky punt. As here it takes a very good Texas roll and Freddie Nixon picks it up. And that's Steve Hall dropping him and he is on the ground. 40 yard punt and minus four yards return. It's the kind they needed against the win. Yeah, but there was exactly half this crowd that had a few thrilling moments there just for a couple seconds, right? Texas fans stopped ahead for football. Oklahoma at its own 48, first and 10. Kenny King, the fullback, in motion to the top of the screen. Thomas Lott, options around the corner. Makes a pitch to Overstreet. In field, and is knocked down there, and a flag goes flying. The flag was thrown uh, away from the play. And the way the Texas fans are cheering, it has to be against Oklahoma. Holding. Holding against the Sooners. That'll cost Oklahoma 15, and the Sooners have hurt themselves with penalties here in this second half, Jerry. They certainly have. They've had a, uh, problems with penalties, but one thing that we have not seen is uh, the fumble problems that Oklahoma had early in the season. March back 15 yards. I'll tell you something about this uh, Texas defense. Boy, they've been awesome too, Steve. First the scoring defense, uh, you know, five points a game, but nobody really knew how good they were until today because uh, they hadn't faced a Thomas Lott or anybody else in uh, 38 yards per game rushing. And Rice inflated the passing up yet last week, 155 yards per game. But still, this is an outstanding offensive team they're playing today, and they're holding their own. Oklahoma first and 24. Elvis Peacock, his first carry of the second half, and he is thrown back. Gets a couple yards left in Steve McMichael, 99. And they're right there. Also, Lance Taylor, 32. Take a look at this play again. Elvis Peacock goes uh, just right up the middle and uh, look at the whole host of Orange Jersey, Texas Longhorns, led by Lance Taylor, who say, sorry about that, Mr. Peacock. We think you better stay down this end of the field for a while. Taylor, sophomore from El Paso, Texas. This is second, 21, Oklahoma. The ball on their own 38-yard line, and Thomas Lott is back to throw. Goes down for Rhodes. It is over his head, incomplete at the 35-yard line. Good pass defense by Texas. Ben Blackman was over there, 37. Derek Hackett, number three, incomplete. It's third down, long yardage for Oklahoma. Kenny King was wide open over on the uh, opposite side of the field. They weren't really paying a whole lot of attention to it. You'll notice that he went in motion uh, just before the play started. Oklahoma brings in a whole new set of fresh receivers. The homer number nine comes in. Bobby Kimball, 21, comes in. Oklahoma opens it up this time with a split to Blanker. No wishbone. Third and 21. Lock throws way over way. the head of Bobby Kimball. He was up at the 35. Lock going down at the 20. Incomplete pass, and it'll be a punt time for Oklahoma again. Fourth and 21 of the Texas fans cheer their defense. He was definitely open. Uh, the Texas defense looked confused by that formation and just how many people were coming out. And what, three wide receivers and uh, Victor Hicks, the tight end? They must have thought they were playing Rice all of a sudden. Rod Shaman will punt. The rush is on, and he has it blocked. A flag goes down. Von Schauman is down on the field. Texas feels it at their 48. Von Schauman is down, and they've got roughing the kicker. He must not have deflected the ball at all then. I guess made up in the air, but what? the official ruled right away that it was roughing the kicker. I don't think the kick was blocked, Chris. I think he just got it off the side of his foot. I could very easily be mistaken on that one. It went straight up in the air. It looked like it was blocked the way it, the ball acted. It went off his foot, but of course, uh, Roughing the kicker call was made. They're talking it over right now. Barry Switzer out on the field to try to get an explanation, the official. Uh, 
maybe it was uh, running into the kicker, the one where it's a lesser penalty. Let's take a look here. Oh, it's a big no, one. It's the big one. Up in the kicker. It takes it all the way to the Texas 47-yard line. It'll still be fourth down. Von Schaumann is up. He's all right. Uh -oh. Oklahoma, they still have to punt it. Now, as soon as he stepped in, and they want to call a timeout here to talk about this. 15 seconds left in the third quarter. Oklahoma's called a timeout. Looks like they're going to cook a, uh, try to kick a field goal, Chris, with a win behind them. That'll bring it, uh, let's see, it'll be 54, 64 yards. Well, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Turn about fair play. Is that what it is, Yeah. Von Schaubert has the tee down on the Oklahoma side of the 50. About the 46 and a half yard line, actually. And Von Schaubert, you see him crouch down there, much as he was at Ohio State before that big field goal that won it for Oklahoma. He meditates, actually, before he kicks. He's into transcendental meditation and says it helps relax him. Uh, that has to be the toughest kick I've ever seen anybody make for pressure. Last play of the game against Ohio State. I was amazed he survived the celebration. I thought <laughs> Oklahoma was going to bury him there. Okay, so Texas says, let's see if your guy can do what our guy does. Russell Lewis leaving his kick the 64-yard field goal for the Horns. Here Everybody is the much chance. It's not going to do it. No good. Texas celebrating on the field some here as they're excited about it. Big Dwight Jefferson did a little dance out there as Von Schaumann cannot kick the 64-yard field goal. Texas will take over first and 10 at its own 20-yard line. He had the distance, Chris. It was long enough, just a little bit off the side. It is Texas 10, Oklahoma 6. We have just nine seconds left in the third quarter. There again, some of the sellout crowd here at the Cotton Bowl, 72,032 capacity for the 32nd consecutive year. They were selling tickets outside the Cotton Bowl for $100 a piece before kickoff. And people were glad to pay it. Texas, first and 10 of them, it's 20. And off, big hole for Earl Campbell, breaks the tackle to 30. And okay. Earl Campbell at the 40, down at the 44 yard line. Earl Campbell, almost 40, 24 yards. Johnny Wayne Jones, the flanker, came back to throw a great long Jerry Peters, 16 pitch tackle. And Aaron Jerry Peters, congratulated Earl Campbell. 25 yards, first down, Texas. With two seconds left in the third quarter. Earl Campbell has never gotten over 100 yards against Oklahoma. We'll take a look at this and. Uh, there's Daryl Hunt going the wrong way, but quickly reversing himself. But he misses Earl. It's hard to arm tackle Earl Campbell. And Johnny Lamb Jones out here just on the edge of your screen throws a nice block. That is the end of the third quarter. The score. Going into the final 15 minutes. First and 10. Horns at their own 45. Campbell has it and goes down right at the 45-yard line. Earl Campbell today, 17 carries for 92 yards. He has not gone over the 100-yard mark. Against Oklahoma, the Soder band strikes up Boomer Soder in the background. Look at, look at the stats. Uh, Oklahoma quite a bit ahead in terms of total yardage with 141 yards rushing, only 59 for Texas. Uh, yards passing 25 to 41. Turnovers are fairly even, and the punts, 7 for 47, 8 for 42 for Texas. Second down, still 10, Texas at the 45. In motion goes Johnny Lamb Jones down to the bottom of the screen. I formation, Longhorns. Campbell stiff arms one man, goes to the 45, full head of steam, barrels off to the 47 or 8. Tackle made by Perry Berg at 26, Earl Campbell. Gets up a little slow there as he starts back to huddle. George Cumby, 28. Zach Henderson, 19, also in on the stop of Tyler Rose. That's uh, what an All-American back will do for you. That was a four-yard loss for yep. almost any other running back. And he uh, he put a little uh, move on an All-American linebacker. Daryl Hunt got into the backfield all the blitz, but uh, Daryl just couldn't hold on. That one. Was, is, this is a big down. Third down, seven. 
for Texas, the football at their 48. Keep in mind, they need to reach the Oklahoma 45 for a first down. Goes to the top of the screen, Jackson to the bottom of the screen. Catch it back to pass, wants to throw for Jones. It is tipped up, and I believe it is no, it is not intercepted. Incomplete the official rules. Terry Peters did not get the interception. The official right there said no interception. At the Oklahoma 40, we have a replay. Let's see if we can touch. Keaton's pass is a little wobbly. Might, might have been tapped. Touch at the line of scrimmage. Lockett tries for it. Tony Peters tries for it. And no, he dropped it right there. Uh, 16, Terry Peters. Uh, let's see if they're going to they're gonna try a field goal, Chris. This, I think, would break the record. If this will be it. 70 yards. Well, uh, when does that his back? He puts it down at the Texas 41. That means it's 69 yards field goal. Yeah. Angle slightly left to right. Everybody starts to stand. And Russell Ertzleben is trying to make college football history again. High snap. Down it goes. Ertzleben. Not kick. far. Not short. far. Bounces to the goal line and in. Uh, we've got an injured player down on the field. Holding his knee. Terry Peters. Got a hobbling there. You see him starting off the field. Russell Ertzleben helped him up. He tried to block his kick. They're short there. You know, it's really nice to see a game be as good as the build-up to it was. And it just, you know, you can't say enough about the two defenses of these football teams. What a job they've done. It's, uh, Texas with less than uh, 100 yards rushing. First and 10, Oklahoma at the 20 after the touchback. Thomas Lott, the quarterback. Answer David Overstreet. We have not seen Billy Sims all day today. Overstreet is just two to three yards there. That's Taylor, 32, middle linebacker made the stop. It will be second down, Oklahoma, eight yards to go at the 22. Less than 13 minutes to play here. Texas, 10, Oklahoma, six. The only touchdown in this football game scored late in the first half by Earl Campbell. Good shot a lot. Oklahoma quarterback wants to throw, being chased. Runs out of the pocket, gets away from the long run at the 25, up to the 28-yard line, and he was very fortunate to get away from Brad Sher and others back there. Finally, Morgan Copeland, 38, Lance Taylor, 32, along with Clyde Jefferson, 80, made the stop, and Jerry Park, he had the scramble. Watch Thomas Lott as he's almost hit here by a couple of Texas Longhorns, and the pocket collapses on him, so he cuts up field and then uh, cuts back to the left before he's tackled by number 32, Lance Taylor again, and on the stop. Oklahoma has a third down and three. They need the 30 for a first down. Wishbone behind Thomas Lott. Makes the full back. Lott goes down. Stumbles right there at the 25. And Oklahoma will have to put it on fourth down. Morgan Copeland, 38. Brad Shear, 77. We're in the backfield. And Lott really had no option chance. So it'll be a punting situation. Fourth down for Oklahoma. For five yards to go. 11.45 to play. In this football game, Obavon Shaman into a kick for the Sooners. High kick into the wind. Fair catch called for, taken for Texas at the 44-yard line. Caught there by Glenn Black with 37. And we'll be back with the Texas drive in just a moment. 11.31 to play in the fourth quarter. There's the score at the Longhorns 10, the Sooners 6. Accept a Bill Mundy challenge. Get the other deal. And the Longhorns on. They have the lead, 10-6. They have it first and 10 at their own 44-yard line. In motion goes Johnny Lamb Jones to the bottom of the screen. Gets the quarterback, has the Campbell, met at the line of scrimmage, carries the silver across the 50 to Oklahoma Territory to 49. What a collision. There's the line of scrimmage, George Cumbie, 28. And Earl Campbell just ran through him there. There's a uh, Jeff Batts. Made it. Made a fine block, number 71 on this. And uh, I'll look at Campbell. Now watch the Jeb Batts. There's a good block. And then Campbell makes some more on his own. And George Cumbie fought right with him and finally held on for the tackle. You know, Jeb is 270 pounds and he's lost 35 pounds. <laughs> Second down four as Campbell gets six, with, gets him close to the 100 mark. Johnny Ham Jones. Short game there, close to a Texas first down in Oklahoma Territory at the 46-yard line. Reggie Kenlaw, 62. George Cumbie, 28 on the tackles. They want to call for a measurement here to check this out. Earl, Earl is now over 100. 
100 yards. 19 carries for 101 yards. Joey, how close are they? That's just about the length of the football, Steve. But it's only third down. About one step for Earl Campbell. Third down, Texas. Less than a yard to go. Football on the Oklahoma 46-yard line. Keep in mind, as Jerry pointed out earlier, this could be a very big factor in this game, Jerry. Texas will play the fourth quarter with that wind that is swirling sometimes up near 20 miles an hour at its back. And we've got 10 and a half minutes uh, left in this football game, but Oklahoma trailing Texas 10 to 6. Of course, remember, it's the big play anytime for either one of these two schools. Wonder who will get it. Third down, short yardage. <laughs> Earl Campbell spins away, still on his feet. You sometimes wonder what you have to do to stop him. Hit. Good hit. That's a good hit. Job. And just spin away. Hit. Spin away. Hit. Look at that. Four. Four. Five. Five. Well, he hit him solid, but he had to get help. Then it took four of them to bring him down. My goodness what? gracious. Game for Earl Campbell. I believe that young man's fired up today. 20 carries, 113 yards for the senior from Texas. First down 10 at the Oklahoma 33-yard line for Texas. Jones gets just shoved back there. Don't send these little skinny guys in here against us, they say. 5'9", <laughs> 180-pound Johnny Ham just got tossed back there. That must have been he, a relief for the Oklahoma defense. He got caught in there between Darrell Hunt and Reggie Kinlaw. That's an awful lot for little Johnny to get caught in between. Johnny Ham talking over the huddle. Don't call that one again. Well, that was, you know, that was that was an easy one for the Oklahoma Sooners. They've been watching uh, Earl Campbell come down his road all afternoon. So that was that was that was kind of like a breather for him, I guess. Mike Lockett flanker at the bottom of the screen. Alfred Jackson top of the screen. Texas second down ten at the Oklahoma 33-yard line. And off again it is Jones. Ham, of course, up the middle. Uh, near the 30-yard line. It'll be third down. This will be a long yardage play for Texas now. And he's hurt. He's hurt. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, it might be the hamstring again. He's had problems with that for two years. Johnny Ham Jones down on the field here at the Cotton Bowl. The football right at the 30-yard line. It'll be third down and seven Texas as they're working over Johnny Lamb Jones from Hamlin, Texas. You know, perhaps uh, there are a lot of people who are watching uh, telecast that, that uh, and I want, I want to get a, an explanation as to why one's called Ham and one's called Lamb, Chris. Right, there's a timeout right now on the field. There's uh, no, I guess not. We're going to try to get him off the field here, so we won't take a break here. I'm glad they call it, you know, both of them, Johnny Jones, that's been tough on us play-by-play -play guys. They didn't make some distinction. Lamb and Ham, how they come up with that, Steve? Well, Johnny Ham Jones is from Hamlin, and Johnny Lamb Jones from Lamb Passes, and Coach Royal came up with that, because at the first start of fall practices, Johnny Jones get over here and two guys had run down. <laughs> and run very fast. Ham Jones, by the way, had 10 carries for 14 yards. Today. Jones is on the bench. Jimmy Johnson, 29, and other speedsters in the backfield with Earl Campbell. Now, this is third and seven, Texas. They need the Oklahoma 23 for the first down. They throw for it. It is incomplete. A flag is down. Flag is down. They tried to hit the tight end, Gil Harris. He got held up in there. A flag went immediately up in the air as soon as the play started. And Texas is walking back, holding against the Longhorns. And yes, they'll take this one because this is Earth Sleeping territory here. That's a very key penalty because that's almost a chip shot from there. But uh, now we're getting back into the 15, 60 yard range. We've been talking about the defenses we'll see we, and the offensive line. Watch them fight in here. Let's see if we can spot it. There's Rick Ingram, probably Jeb Batts. In fact, they're all holding it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take uh, your pick. <laughs> and I, I tell those offensive linemen, it's, uh, they've got to do something. All these defensive guys coming full speed, throwing every which way. There's a good shot on the bench of Johnny Ham Jones, and they are working on that uh, leg of his. It seems to be the right ankle or the right foot. Well, he is in some pain, though. You can see that. He certainly is. 8.37 to go. After the penalty, it is third down, 22, Texas. Maybe a little grass in that. They're still trying to get to the Oklahoma 23. Kitchen back to pass. Sets up the screen. Has it to Campbell. 45, 40, and down he goes at the 41-yard line. Earl Campbell on the screen. And he made a nice reception out there, but Oklahoma came up quickly. This is what the pros would like to see, Nick. Can I find out that Earl Campbell can indeed catch the ball? And 
course. He knows what to do with it after he catches it. But a fine play by Reggie Mathis to stop him. And Reggie Mathis, after that collision with Earl Campbell, is a little slow himself getting up, and he's going to be escorted off the field. That'll make Bruce Tate number five in at uh, defensive end for Oklahoma. It is fourth down and 19 for Texas. Looks like we're going to try a short field goal with only 58 yards. <laughs> on the Oklahoma 48 and the third of the end zone 58 yard field goal attempt Russell Ertz leaving there again is Johnny Hines I am Jones. sure that's a lot of motion for him he thought maybe he'd get through a whole year without getting hurt Ertz leaving 58 yard field goal it's attempt. long enough it has the distance it's good it's good 58 yard field goal attempt Takes a 58 yard field goal. And in the fourth quarter, eight minutes and two seconds left to play in the game. It's now Texas 13, Oklahoma 6. yards. Total today 58 and 64. And Ursula picks it up and throw again off the kickoff team. You know, uh, Russell was a quarterback in high school and an all round athlete. He said a couple of years ago that he would really kind of like to get more contact as a Texas player. And Coach Royal said he gets all the contact he needs on the kicking. It is really amazing. Conventional style kicker. What is it, about a half step and two full, right? Uh -huh. Boy, he moves. There come the Sooners, and they've got to start moving. Eight minutes, two seconds up to play in the game. 80 yards to the Texas goal. Thomas Lott, first and 10 at the 20. Lott keeps it himself. Goes only to the 22 and wrapped up there. You know, it was about again, they were down by six points last year. And uh, last year it was a very critical extra point that uh, made the difference in the football game. So it's going to be interesting if Oklahoma can score now to see what uh, what their strategy will be. Bobby Kimball split in, comes down to the bottom of the screen. Thomas Lott, Oklahoma wishbone behind him. Just that was Peacock. He's going to throw back to Thomas Lott. He's got it at the 20, at the 25. Lott at the 30. First down at the 32. And razzle dazzle for Oklahoma. First down. And if you look back at the history of Oklahoma, it was a little bit of razzle dazzle uh, against Nebraska last year. It was a pass play from Dean Blevins and then a lateral. Uh, it was Steve Rose to uh, Elvis Peacock that won the football game. So Oklahoma can use the razzle dazzle to perfection. Well, that was just one of the. When's the last time you saw a quarterback get a pass, huh? An 11 yard pass play. First and 10, Oklahoma at their own 32. 7 14 to play in the game. Big uh, going to throw, and it is complete to Steve Rhodes and Thomas Lott. It's Rhodes up around the 42. This does not look like an Oklahoma Texas game all of a sudden, does it? Passing for Thomas Lott. Tommy fades back. He's got plenty of protection, plenty of time. He spots Steve Rhodes. Steve was in the clear and uh, gets it just at the marker that's good enough for uh, another Oklahoma first down. The Sooners begin to roll. 7.05 left on the clock press. And uh, I'll tell you what, we, we, we got a lot of football left here. Just under the seven minute mark right now. First and 10, Oklahoma. Lott keeps, makes the pitch to Overstreet. 40, 45, midfield, 45, out of bounds at the Texas 43 yard line. Run out of bounds by Johnny Johnson, the free safety number 27. 15 yard gain on the play for David Overstreet. Now, watch what Oklahoma's doing at this point. They are mixing up the plays a lot more than they have in the first part of. Uh, the football game. Let's take a look at that play one more time. Watch as Thomas Lott will fake to uh, the first man through. The pitch out just at the exact moment that he got hit. David Overstreet makes it down the sidelines before he's knocked out about Chris. Back to live action now. First and 10 play. Lott makes the pitch. This time it's Peacock. Peacock stumbles as he goes down near the Texas 41 yard line. He got tangled up over there as blocker David Overstreet along with Glenn Blackwood, the right cornerback for Texas. Short gain of the play. Boy, both bands are booming out fight songs now every second here. Again, I'm amazed at Thomas Lott's precision at that pitch. Good shot of the Texas sideline. And Suttles down there on the sideline camera. John Heatley, Clint Ball up here upstairs following the action play in this delayed telecast by KTUL TV. Back it goes. Thomas Lott wants to throw for Oklahoma. Down to Steve Rhodes Falls. Oh, a flag goes down. A flag goes down. At the 25-yard line, interference is called against Texas. Derek Hatchett, number three. And he's 
got a tough time believing it. The official was right there, and he must have seen some contact just as the ball was released. I think it was a trip. I think uh, pass interference against Texas. Oklahoma gets a big break there. It is first down Sooners at the Texas 28-yard line. And again, just like Ohio State and Vanderbilt, Oklahoma doing what they have to do in the final quarter. Oklahoma has been inside the Texas 20, I believe, only once in this second half. Lot, they break the wishbone, split slot to the top of the screen. And up, Kenny King has a big hole at the 20. Kenny King to the 15, inside, first down, Oklahoma at the Texas 13. Kenny King, 14 yards, and here it is, the fullback play off the wishbone. Kenny King right up the middle, and this is the biggest gainer of the day for Kenny King. Now watch, he almost bumps into Overstreet there, then cuts to his right. This is what makes Kenny King such a super valuable back. He can go straight ahead, he can cut, he can go any way you want him to. Here come the Sooners. Wishbone, Thomas Lott at the Texas 14. Lott keeps it himself, cuts up inside, goes to the Texas 10. I'll tell you what, guys, next year, let's just play the fourth quarter. We won't worry about the other three. <laughs> it always seems to come down to this, doesn't it? It really does. The 72nd meeting, Oklahoma, Texas. Second and five, Oklahoma, ball on the 10. Man in motion. Pitch to Elvis Peacock. At the 10, Peacock stumbles down to about the six. I believe it was the year before last when Horace Ivory made that, uh, I think, a 37-yard run for a touchdown in the game for the University of Oklahoma. Lance Taylor 32, Johnny Johnson 27 on the stop for Texas. And now it is third down and two, Oklahoma. At the Texas six-yard line. And of course, Steve, against Texas, this is a tough two. The centers need to get to the four. Thomas Lott says he can't hear, steps away. I can't imagine why he can't hear. <laughs> Thomas Lott talks to the official. go now third down two Oklahoma Lott keeps it himself makes the pitch to Peacock Peacock at the five rolled out of bounds near the four yard line he's going to be close Chris that was almost a forward pass it was a pitch yeah I believe you're right <laughs> Let's take a look at it one more time. Tommy Lott, and I think he thought that uh, Elvis Peacock was a little bit behind him, and he pit pitches to him. I believe it was a forward pass. <laughs> but that's going to be a legal forward pass. Yeah, Barry Switzer says they need a new statistic at Oklahoma. Pitch outs attempted, pitch outs completed. <laughs> it is fourth down. They say he is just shy of the first down is where they marked it. It is just inside the five, if maybe the a... If the nose of the ball touches the four, it is a first down. Fourth down. Lock keeps it, cuts up inside, and on the road, Texas says they've held it. He was hit right there at the four. Where they're marking it, he did not make it. That's the defensive play of the game, right there. Texas has held Oklahoma. On fourth down, Johnny Johnson, 27, the free safety. There's a guy in there who made the hit. There's a long horn down as we watch this big fourth down play. Thomas Lott, number six. Here comes Johnny Johnson. He makes the tackle, stands him up. He's also hurt. Texas has held Oklahoma. We'll pause here with four minutes and three seconds left to play. Texas 13, Oklahoma six. The game made by Texas free safety, number 27, Johnny Johnson, sophomore from LaGrange, Texas. He was the injured player is back up and uh, went off the field in his own power in Texas. Has it first and ten at the five, and Oklahoma will be going for the football with 4.03 left to play. Caught by the line of scrimmage, Randy the catcher goes down. George Cumbie wraps it up at the three-yard line. I would have thought maybe the stretcher would be give it to Earl three times and then let Russell kick it out. 3.49 to play. Both teams have two first downs, two timeouts, I should say up in this football game. 3.39, Oklahoma trails Texas 13 to six. Dave Hall, tight end comes in. Alfred Jackson comes out. 